Hey everybody, Seven here. And thank you so much for joining me in our 12th summer. Oh nice, it's a family quest. Now, I don't know if you've been watching my Long Dark series or my Planet Craft or anything. First off, I am so sorry for missing several days now of uploads. A lot of real life not niceties have been going on. My rig, I had to move, uh, my, my rig ended up getting all sorts of borked on me. And I went to record three episodes back to back to back, Planet Crafter, Long Dark, and this, and everything went just a straight shot. Game audio was gone, voice audio was gone, everything was just gone. In the other two games, it was unsalvageable. In this, well, I at least had a backup save so I can redo the summer. There's gonna be, I mean, there is some RNG involved, so I'm not gonna know everything that's coming up. Basically, I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, repairs, a whole ton of quests, and I got, um, actually, now that I think about it, it's already different because you were the one that had the quest, not the wife. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's get with the wife, see what she's got going on, then we'll get the random townsfolk, and we will get as much dynasty as we possibly can. Yeah, we got the 19k person. I think we can get one at 19.5. Oh, somebody came back from maternity leave. Who? A farmer. That is absolutely spectacular. My oh, beloved, you. how are you? Okay, what do you need me to get after? Man, even my wife is telling me how bad I suck at decorating. Oh man. Now let's get to repairs first, I guess. Yeah, we can go ahead and turn these off because we're not making those anymore. Oh, I'm just gonna leave this guy working at 15%. That's that's fine. I also figured out that my um my hunters were all over the place. Alright. Everything should be balanced now. What if your places are busted this uh this season here? Oh no, it was a kitchen that was busted, okay. Oh, wait a minute, somebody left me a really cool comment. They said that the, um, you know how everybody, uh, changes their, their uniform when they, they get to work? Oh my god, look at that! Oh, hey, we got the windmill already, too. Nice. Look at that! Oh my god, you're actually dressed up! Look at the little beekeeper outfit, that is so crazy! Man, I've been getting, getting on all three of, uh, the, the games I've been running right now. I've been getting just the, the best and the really just the coolest comments, and thank you guys so much for that. Like, I really look forward to getting that notification so much. The, the comments lately... <laughs> Perfect. Get up, Sherman. But yeah, you guys leaving the comments lately have just been absolutely amazing, and it's it's been really, really cool to see. And thank you so much for that. And again, I'm I'm just so sorry with all the all the nonsense that's been going on, and... You know, I've missed I've missed several days. I've I've been trying to do a seven day a week thing, at least one one video uploaded every day. It's it's been kind of rough lately, but I'll try to get back into it. I'm not I'm not ready to pull the trigger on uh, not doing seven days anymore. And by seven days, I mean seven days a week, not seven days to die. I have pretty much pulled the trigger on not uploading any more of that. Good God, those videos did terribly. Nobody liked those. I'd consider doing Seven Days to Die again after Alpha 21 drops, but I'd have to see somebody in the comment section actually say, oh yeah, I'd, I'd watch Seven Days to Die with you. Oh right, I made all of these. We gotta get to that too. Okay, so hammers are done. Or, er, wow, hammers. Uh, repairs are done. Uh, what else were we doing? Place furniture, right. Oh wait a minute, I wonder if these count. I'm over here doing decorative stuff. It is because of the wife quest, but I'm doing decoration stuff right at the, you know, middle of the morning on day one. I'm sure there's more important things I could be doing right now. Oh right, yeah, so there's barrel, barrel. All right, so, you know what? Well, first off, do these, is this place furniture? Now, is this furniture and decorations? I just hope that this counts. Please count. No, you're not counting, actually. All right, well, I'm going to put these here anyway. Screw you, wife. These are for me. Oh, I ran out of sticks. That sucks. I mean, I'm just going to put down enough to satisfy the quest for right now. We can always, you know, mess around with uh, real decorating on day three. I just, I've got a lot of stuff that I want to get done here. All right. Let's, let's smash this one. 
and I wanted to get a couple of singles up maybe. Now, another thing was, I was thinking about like another barrel or, or seating or something here, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep this as an entrance to the park or, I mean I say park, it's, it's literally like 10 square feet, but I don't know. I really, really wanted another bench right there. I just thought that that would be absolutely perfect, but it's just not going to go. Like, it's not going to let me. Oop. Yeah, it keeps saying too uneven. Which, I mean, come on, that that looks... That right there looks perfect. By the time you let me do it, it's way far away from the tree. Well, I don't like it, but I don't hate it. Actually, you know what? I think our tavern could use some outside seating. Wow, that is a lot closer to the water than I expected it to be. Uh, you know what, maybe a table or two are over here. Alright. Now we got, uh... Now we got some outside seating. Oh, those benches are in a terrible, terrible location. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta fix that. All right, that's a lot better. <laughs> and actually, those, uh, those seating areas, uh, they should look pretty cool once the trees come back in too. All right, we gotta hit up the wife. Probably won't need to do mining. Oh man, I really do want to do a lot of insulating though. Pigeon pose. Yeah, yeah, her her pigeon post. She's gonna send uh, mail through pigeons. Uh, she might be onto something though. Teach them how to talk. All right, much to do. I really want to get that damn windmill up. Uh, I I actually hemmed and hawed on this one a lot because I was getting really cool comments about even this part. Somebody was saying behind the barn. And I tried it and it alternated between it was too uh, too uneven or it was too close to Gustovia. Because we are, or Burrow rather, because we are really, really on the line of uh, encroaching into Burrow. Uh, so much so that the lamp that's over here, it's not even fully in the corner. It could move another foot or so and still be uh, like not in the road, but like I moved it just the tiniest amount and it, it said, you know, too close to their neighboring town. What it settled on, and honestly, I never did love the direction of it. I'll put it here and I'll see what you guys say. Yeah, right about here is where it settled on. And I rotated it. I was, I was thinking about having it face like either over the river or face the street, but I was like, well, wait, should the entrance, you know, face the street or should the blades face the street, you know? So it's kind of thinking like the convenience of the the staff walking in, you know, have the stairs in the front and then it'll be facing kind of sideways-ish. I just thought that, you know, that had some aesthetic uh, value to it as well. But this building is going to completely revolutionize our barn because we're going to be able to drop all of that percentage off of the flower making and just devote it to probably one or two more percent into the animal feed, because that is very, very slowly going down. We're also going to want probably one, maybe two more percentages into uh, the threshing. I really do not want to have any instance of um, the farm shed not being able to sow things in the season and end up with, you know, field 12 or 20 or whatever the hell that one was being all jacked up for a year. That one sucked. All oh, right, I want to get all the um, all the insulation done up too. Now that I think I mentioned this one a couple times, that's kind of a contested and um, d debated feature. You know, there's people that say, you know, only insulating the houses does anything, insulating the work sites doesn't do anything. Uh, from most aspects and most standpoints, it doesn't. Insulating and upgrading the work sites, it doesn't do a damn thing for you know, employee mood or production or anything like that. Like, you know, if you put limestone on the walls of your blacksmith, they're not gonna smelt better. They're not gonna, you know, produce more tools or anything. The thing that I have 
ob just casually observed, it looks like they need less frequent repairs. Honestly, there's certain buildings that I just get sick of repairing all the damn time. But doesn't, I don't know, doesn't that look cool with the stairs? You know, so then our little staff can wander their way up and, I don't know, let, let, me, let me actually finish the thing and you know, I'll show it off a little bit and see what you guys think. How, just what a ridiculous amount of resources go into this thing. Alrighty, let's get this thing finished up and we'll get this guy to bed. There's one small oddity that always kind of perplexed me a little bit about the uh, the windmill. So it needs, you know, obviously a million trillion logs and a whole ton of planks and everything like that. But the one thing that it doesn't require, and I really think it should, is somewhere between four and eight um, linen. Like, it, it should use linen fabric, and it doesn't. Things are kind of broken into stages or phases, like, you know, you gotta build the foundation of the house, and then you build the um, the, the pillar support, like the, the stick-built aspect of it. You know, the, the struts and like that. I think the blades should have their own, you know, additional phase to it that you'd build from, like, the outside. And this is where I'm saying it should have linen fabric. Kind of like a, like a stall, basically. You know, it's just planks that are making the thing spin. That's not really feasible, you know? Like, it should be the linen fabric. Or, like, planks to the interior and the linen fabric uh, towards the exterior. Two fabric per blade or something like that. Or maybe one. Anyway, <laughs> well, let's get this guy to bed. We'll get him breakfast. And he has a very busy day ahead of him tomorrow. Good night, guys. Okay, eat, drink, and a whole lot of jobs to do. Maybe we'll find the right certain somebody out there. Oh, let's yeah, but let me take a look at it in the in the daily here. I don't know. Is it is it dumb? Is it cool? Uh, I kind of settled on this one mostly because there's that perpetual hiccup here. You know, every time I try to put a a one by whatever, one by sixteen or one by ten little farm plot there it, it keeps hicking up uh hiccup hicking up hiccuping it keeps screwing me over and not even down by where the the rocks actually are it does it up here where there's literally nothing to get blocked on i was like all right you know what if i can't use the uh the farm field anyway or use the the terrain as farm field i might as well put something useful and cool looking there okay jobs 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 so many jobs let's get another complement of bolts because i've got uh 16, that's not enough. It's just uh, one more pack, how to do it. 26, I'm a lot more comfortable with 26 than I am with 16. Alrighty, who's got stuff to do? Oh, three in my own town, that's cool. Oh man, Lesnica and Hornica. Oh, <laughs> that's, that one's in Gustovia, not my town. Eh, Gustovia might as well be a suburb of me. Yeah, I started out a suburb of Gustovia. No, suburb, uh, Gustovia is a suburb of me now. You there, what can I do for you? Greetings, stranger. Oh, stranger. Stranger. Twelve years, man. I, you, you aren't aware of that bustling metropolis. You can see it from your house. Like, if you can look out the window. What do you need help with? Yeah, maybe we are strangers, because clearly you do not understand how much I hate Night Howl. Or Night Hunt. Or both of them. I don't like either one of them. They both sucks. They both sucks? Wow, I can't talk for shit today. My English is worse than frickin' Jawoodle today. This is this is embarrassing. Alright. Just trying to get a feel for who, if anybody... Wow, this town has nobody. Never mind. Because when I do actually get enough points to, um, to get the next recruit, it would be helpful to know, you know, where to start. Uh, who needs help here? One of my cooks. Hello, friend. Hi, what do you need? Okay, yeah, 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 great, great, great. Copper. Yeah. You know, we've got iron fire axes and iron pickaxes and just... Like, we've got the best tools in the land, and you're asking me for a copper hammer? I can get you so much better. Well, here you go. Right, there's one more in my town. It looks like a hunter, maybe. So we might have to be uh, making a bow here in a minute. Alright, which one of you guys is it? 
Hunter, Loverjack, Hunter. Hi. Hello. How are you? Absolutely, what do you need? I don't think I've ever seen a hunter uh, ask me this one before. Um, what do you need for it? Flax and wool, interesting. Let's go to Veronica, take that quest, and we'll go to Veronica. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, so I was talking about this uh, this super cool comment. I've been talking about comments like all episode here, I know, but it's it's literally my favorite part about doing this. It's just the cool things that people say. Someone was uh, had seen me talk about the the Bronica versus Baronica thing. Bronica, they they translated for uh, through Polish, was the something regarding goats. I don't remember uh, specifically what they said, but it was it was something regarding goats. And it makes sense because it's the goat town. Like, the, it's it's where the goat lady buy the goats off her. That was Baronica, right? Because this is... No, Bronica. Yeah, Bronica is goats. How can I have the best goods in the valley? Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, crap. Just about wool thread, not wool. How can I help you? My wares never disappoint. See you soon. Uh, so anyway... Baronica was with goats, but they went on to say Jezerica was like beautiful lake or deep lake or something, something along those lines. And that totally, you know, obviously that makes sense because Jezerica has the biggest and nicest and prettiest lake. Rolnica, something agricultural related. And then they, they said, and that makes sense because they're the town that has the windmill. And then, you know, just, just hearing them translate these things and then, you know, point to, yeah, that's why that town has the windmill. That's why that town's at the lake. That's why that town has the, the goat trader. But it was really cool uh, hearing all these translations and then seeing, you know, the uh, the reasoning of, you know, why some of the towns are, are laid out the way they are. Shouldn't some of you guys be, like, shooting deer? I know damn well this Y isn't close enough. I'm not taking them out, but you guys can. There you go. I didn't pick up the quest that I want. Oh my god, I'm just... I'm shot here. It's been a rough couple of weeks here. Um, it's been... It's just been a lot, like I said earlier in the uh, in the episode here. I'm doing my best to at least be entertaining. Without babbling too much, because... That, then that just makes editing hard. Hi there. How can I help you? How can I help you, actually? Oh. Right. Okay, don't screw this up. This can get real easy or real annoying real fast. I think it's the long one, right? Okay, nice, 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 nice. Doing it the other way, oh. You got, it, it turns it into a two day quest. You gotta get a bunch of ingredients. This guy has to cook, it's just a pain in the ass. There we go. All right, Sherman, let's roll out without hitting a tree. Yeah, that one was on me, pal. That was 100% on me. Oh, shoot. The night hunt. I got to bring a knife. Here's a, a weird thing that I, I had discovered while I was doing... Because um, it, it did actually... Like I said, I'm sorry. I'm doing I'm doing the season over again. But we did have a, um, a night hunt or one of them and it sent me four wolves and Greetings. hi what can Sandra. i do for you oh man i'm gonna get both of them oh. right because night howl is guaranteed wolves night hunt is wait and see right and that is one thing that happened uh last well i was gonna say last season but no the, the last time i did summer here i immediately went to sambers because of course it would all of the wolves there were dead immediately upon arrival. So you can see it's clearly white. Once I got within range of being able to see stuff, it grayed itself out. Like I got up there, there's a whole bunch of dead wolves over there, and the icon became gray. Um, they sent me for some uh, boar as well. Same thing. Ran up to the swamp, got up to here, found a whole bunch of dead boar, 
and the icon immediately got grayed out. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't always this case, but it's definitely the case now where if you're not harvesting um, How have you been? Only good the, the kills, quality. then you're not going to uh, be able to get them in the next season. It's a, nice seeing you. It's a salad-ish, give or take. Yeah, so I was, I was running into this weird issue where um, it wasn't letting me do any hunting because everything was already dead and stayed dead. So every season, all the animals that you kill, they'll come back. But only if you actually harvest the bodies. I actually had to uh, do quite a bit of searching around because I, I had emptied so many locations. I ran to the spots that I knew of anyway, just so I could harvest the carcasses and be like, okay, listen, can you guys respawn next uh, next season so that if I do have to do one of these hunt ones again, you know, I can actually go to the places that I know. All right, what do we need? You there, hello. How's life treating you? And really, I was hoping you were gonna just be like, oh, go get me four iron and I was gonna buy it off of you and just give it right back. All right. Oh, you don't even have a cook in this town, do you? Oh man, you guys are hitting me with it. I might abuse a little fast travel for this one. Um, yeah, we gotta go to Hornica anyway. Hornica does have a uh, a cook. Listen, it's it's starting to get a little on the late side. If I luck out, I won't need a whole lot of time because if they say that, uh, yeah, so five wolves here. If this one also ends up being four or five wolves, then all I need to do is kill five wolves. You know, they uh, they, they stack when they do that. Oh crap, I haven't been looking at the, the townsfolk. Only the best products here. Uh, I need bread. Oink. Goodbye. Um, I'll take a level three production, but a level three farmer is really the primary that I'm looking for right now. How do you do? Hi, what do you need help with? Not really. Oh, right, you. This is the other one that has the the easy out if if you've done it before. Um, where is my target? Well, Lesnica, obviously, but eh, whatever. I'll, I'll just fast travel to Lesnica and I'll get it done from there. Casually dropping like two grand on fast travel just because I'm in a hurry. I probably am going to drop that much by the end of it. There's bread. Um, yeah, we want to do this one first. Wait, 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 wait. We're rolling right through Denica. We should probably check to see if there's anybody here. Because like I said, production I'll take, but I want a farmer, not a diplomacy. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. All right, now I probably can't take you right now. Oh, because across the 19.5, or 19.5 range. Oh, holy crap. Do I have any open houses? I kind of don't think I do. Oh my god, I have one open house. Oh, 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 okay, I have two. I have two. I'm fine. Um, and you're actually going to be the one that goes to the windmill. Because I don't, I don't really need somebody that good there yet. You know, if, if I put somebody too good there, they're just going to grind us out of wheat. We won't be able to plant it. Uh, but if I put somebody that's too good at their job in here, it'll it'll kind of backfire on me. Because I am only going to do the wheat. I'm not going to do the other uh, the other grains. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely get this addressed as well. Yeah, 29% that we can now completely take off of this thing. Yeah, we'll, we will up that one. And then we'll crank on this. Because I really do not want to be selling manure. Selling fertilizer, I'm fine with that. And look at the numbers that we're going to be producing. So we should be able to turn a tidy profit off of uh, fertilizer too. Yeah, you guys should be selling at least 100 a day. We're going to be making it like just stupid amounts. All right, there we go. That should work. A little concerned about this situation. The monitor that we've completed a number of quests here. I don't think when all is said and done that we'll be able to get to, uh, to 20 grand. So we got one person. We're not going to be able to get a second person. Uh, not this season anyway. Now, as long as you play Peacemaker on this one, it cuts the uh, the travel time on this quest in half as well. What? Sherman, how, how did you, like, wedge me inside of a rock? Hey. Nice to be here. Yes, uh... 
Time to bury the hatchet. There you go. All right, we'll do. Now we run back to Hornica. I'm honestly probably just going to fast travel again. I should probably get the hunt at least start. Oh my god. German, did they adjust your turning radius when I wasn't looking? Because I swear you could have made that corner. I am probably going to want to get at least a start on the, the hunt. I do prefer doing it in, um, in the daylight. If it's going to be pigs and wolves, I'm going to want to get at least a start. Especially since half the wolves on the entire map right now are dead permanently until I take a knife to them. Hey, lady, what's going on? I have good news. <laughs> they get so bitter and catty with each other. It's just, you don't need to be that. Yeah, please stop it. Uh, this also means that I have a ton of just dumb stuff that I don't want to, just don't want to carry on me anymore. Um, all right, get another pair of them. Don't need that. All right, that's fine. Farewell. Yep, later. Wait for the next evening. Yeah, all right, come on, hurry it up, would you? I want to find out what, what I actually have to hunt now. I'll go get something to eat, too. Alrighty, let's go get food. And we'll, uh, wait around for this thing to trigger over. Okay, we're going up again i think i'll try to get some kind of equilibrium on that at some point uh but yeah definitely need a knife oh my god what the hell's going on with these knives oh tool stalls that's probably a bit better balanced since i already know that there's no wolves out by uh by sambers you know i, I could just run out there anyway just to uh clear the, the corpses essentially it was so annoying when i first did it too because i was like i'm out here in the dark, can't see squat, I'm running around with inspector mode on and off like crazy, and on top of everything else, I started getting heavy. So I wasn't getting the kills, time was ticking away, it's pitch black, I'm trying to look around for something that's gonna, you know, eat me, and I had to keep uh, shuffling fur and meat and all this other stuff into Sherman, because I couldn't carry it all. Because if, if the next one is pigs, then hanging out by the swamp would be helpful. Was oh, it seriously four dead guys out here? Yep. Never mind. That is four dead guys. Well, at least for the next season, they'll uh, they'll all be back in action. Oh, nice. We got wolves. Wolves or wolves, which is fantastic. Oh, that's that's gonna save a ton of time. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> I've definitely been accused of misremembering. You know, I'll remember something from like 15, 20 years ago, and then you know, something that happened in a game last week sometime is just gone forever. Yeah, I literally cannot remember if I just stabbed three boar or four boar. But yeah, I would have sworn that even if you didn't harvest the wolf and boar corpses, that it would still, you know, cycle it over to the next uh, the next season, and you'd get a, a full complement of new ones. Now it seems like if you kill them and don't skin them, they they hang out and they count as one of the wolves that would have, or one of the any animal I guess that would have spawned otherwise. Uh, we. I would go up in the corner. I, I hate fighting there though, just because where they actually spawn in is practically on top of the map's edge. So anytime I end up chasing them around or they end up chasing me around, there's constantly like me zoning out of the uh, off the map and oh, I should stay here. The valley's my home now. Well, I'm not trying to leave, dude. I'm trying to chase down a dog. I'm also trying to avoid the bears that are up here. That is a fight I am completely disinterested in. Bye. Bye. You know, it's funny how so many of these different games have either the same or very similar animals, and how differently I approach them all. In Seven Days to Die, I'm not super concerned with the wolves. You know, when, once you get the uh, appropriate weaponry, eh, you can take them pretty easily. Here, even with the top, top weaponry, they can be a threat. And in the long dark, oh god, wolves are terrifying. Oh, you might spot me. Uh, yep, he spotted me. And I can't see him. Sherman, where the hell are you? Oh, I'm getting chased by a couple. Ow. Ow. I'm gonna hit a tree, get launched, and get eaten. This is dumb. Why am I doing this at night? Um, we've got... Alright, sure, I'm 
Be ready to uh, rescue me if I do something stupid. If? Really? When? Sherman, when I do something very stupid. Be ready. There's one. I don't think he's wounded, though. Actually, I'm not even sure if the first one was wounded. I'm kind of running for my life a little too much to check for blood. I think I tagged him, but I don't think I killed him. Um. Run. I don't know if that bolt fully knocked. Oh, this guy's on my heels. Why did I tell Sherman to be so far away? Sherman, where the hell are you? I'm gonna die. No! Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on! Okay, we're alive. Now, somebody told me that there's one of these flowers that does health as well. Like, not just the, um, the plantain. I'll be damned if I can remember what the hell it was, though. Oh, Daisy. Oh, and the dandelions, too. Oh, and less stamina consumption. That's fun. I mean, the less water consumption is, like, who gives a crap, but the, uh... The less stamina consumption could be helpful. Especially as I'm trying to use, um... Vector mode out here. Yeah, I know I could just wait till daylight, but... I want to save, uh, day three for decorating. Holy crap, there's one right there. Nice. Oh, hey. Plantain. That's cool. Yeah, listen, nobody cares. Uh, St. John's Ward doesn't heal. Deadly Nightshade definitely doesn't heal. Wow, those, uh, those stat buffs do not last very long. You know, just the flower. The potions last pretty long, but the flower apparently does not last very long at all. Oh god. Okay. Everything's fine. Right, how are we looking that we killed them all? Um, it's probably pretty likely that Rolnica... Uh, they might have, like, one or two, but I, I probably have a ton of corpses out that way, too. So apparently I can hard charge through the middle of the woods, in the middle of the night, not hit a damn tree. No, I trip over something in broad daylight in my own town. That's just the award winner that I am. We've got a couple still living here. We also got a good chunk of plantain here as well. This corpse out of the way. Get that corpse out of the way, too. There's another, <laughs> another dead one over there. I definitely saw at least one living, though. He seems a little preoccupied with rabbits, though, at the moment. Which, that's fine, I will take that. Yeah, there you are. Nice. Sneak attack plus headshot. Now, I know there's, there's nothing in, like, any kind of loading screen about uh, sneaking. It says that you can get closer to animals without them detecting you. But there's nothing really that says, you know, sneak attack does more damage, which I'm... I'm fairly convinced at this point that it does. I know it's, it's definitely got to be well, well past midnight by now, but whatever. Let's just get it done. Yep, we're we're blanked on that section, so... Maybe one near Danica somewhere, I thought. Ah, there we are, right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're growling at that deer, that's one thing, but do not be detecting me already. There we go, perfect. Okay, injured, not dead. That's fine. Whoa, 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 what's with the evasive maneuvers? Oh, no, you're running. Oh, never mind, you're dead. Wonderful. Now, let's, uh, let's clue these guys out, too. Oh, I saw the tents, and I freaked the hell out. I was like, please don't make me get into a long, protracted bandit fight right now. All right, listen, dog. I'm going to go over to this tent, and I'm going to run ransack the place. Don't start nothing. Won't be nothing. Oh. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> two more healing potions. I will definitely take advantage of that. And a poison. This must have been a bandit camp, man, because poison and axes and stuff? Uh, you do not sound reputable. Nobody has an axe with, you know, no planks and no logs and stuff like that. Unless they're up to no good. Alright, all we gotta do now is uh, go turn everything in. Alright, get the hell out of bed. I didn't get to go to bed last night. Get up. Yeah, I got the stuff gone. There you go. And a meat with gravy. Okay, thanks. Uh, now we fast travel out to Rolnica. No, Hornica. Let me get cleaned up and fed first. Oh, it's Rolnica. It is Rolnica. Oh, we could have turned it in. Well, you gotta read. Pay attention. I'm not fast traveling to Rolnica. Half that noise. Alrighty. 
Yep, wolves are dead. There you go. Bye. I really wish you guys would stop giving me freaking arrows. You guys know I'm a crossbow guy, right? Here, let me find someone to dump these. Uh... What can I? I've been a vendor since before you could. All right, that to. Anything else I want to dump? Yeah, the poison. <laughs> Definitely don't need that. Oh yeah, that plate from the meat with gravy that they they gave me. Okay. Farewell. And that is every quest done. And yep, 19875. There. Hi. How have you been? Only goods of the uh, highest quality. Right. Take care. You know, I probably should have actually counted that. 15 might be more than what I actually even needed. Yeah, by the time fall comes, there's going to be some of our farm shed people are going to go out there and harvest hops. So there's going to be a stockpile of hops in our, our stash over here, but nobody's going to be using them because we don't have anybody at the damn tavern. Also, I still need now one more male farmer. Yeah, because we just picked up a female and we we're balanced out. So we need a guy, but we should be balanced out, I think, on male to female production. Oh, right. We've also got the um, the flowers on us, and I want to I want to get on that. All right, so let's go plant, and then we'll uh, we'll try to decorate as best we can. I don't know what we'll do for the rest of the day. Honestly, monkeying with those damn plants is probably gonna take me a good chunk of the day. I uh, I'm not very good with them. Okay, we are we're at like 33. We are definitely way overproducing on those damn simple bags. Well, I kind of I kind of crazy cranked them up. I had lost the good one. I had lost the level 8, and I was only on the level 3 guy. You know, he was just doing the best he could. This looks so garbage. It'll get fixed, uh... Well, tomorrow, actually. Yeah, I don't like this. I do not like the way they changed the orchards. They looked so much cooler when it was actual full rows, you know? Honestly, they're they're a little hard to see now. Yeah, they're, they're kind of hard to see where the plots are. Whereas before, you know, it was one continuous field, but you could still see, like, where they landed. Oh, huh, we did actually run out. Ironically, we need 15 more. That's interesting. Not sure how many more I'll be able to uh, pick up here. Hey there, how many you got? Uh, uh, hello, I'm trying to talk to you, my man. You there we go. I've been a vendor since before you could walk. You... Man. It that's... was nice seeing you. That's just annoying. Like, I know everything that I'm planting right now isn't going to be ready for fall, because it, it's two seasons for hops, I want to say. Two years for trees. You can harvest them before two years, but it's two years for them to be fully grown. But the hops, they're they're good to go bang, bang, two seasons. So even though I know that um, the stuff that I'm planting right now isn't going to be ready for the fall anyway, I still just kind of wanted it done. And to have it not be done by one singular plant... Annoying. All right, well, 97% <laughs> done. Oh, some of these places still need daub on them. Now, again, I'm not doing this for any sort of um, townsfolk reason. It doesn't do a single thing for the townsfolk. You know, no one's going to be producing better. No one's going to get a mood increase. No one's going to get any of that. It's for a pretty arguable benefit. Whether or not a... Um, a building is damaged anyway is partially due to RNG right off the bat. So, you know, to try to prove that you're doing something to the game that's going to either increase one RNG or decrease another RNG, yeah, we're down to, uh, we're down to top now. But, I mean, RNG happens. You know, I was about to go pull out a shovel and get, oh, yeah, I'll go get the clay. All right, fine. I was like, okay, do I want to go take clay or do I want to mess around with flowers that I know I can't handle? <laughs> this is another thing that it may have been more fun if people had seen my, my initial reactions on. I struggled with the, the flower placement. And in fact, there's a, a control that doesn't work. There's like this um, hold a button to rotate or something. It doesn't work. And I, I tried it with, uh, with controller and with mouse and keyboard and it didn't work either way. So, I don't know what the hell is going on there. I, I was having such a, an issue because I had to drop it, drop the item. It had to hit the ground, bounce. It still had to main, maintain upright. Because if it wasn't upright, 
then the next time I went to place it, it would just place it whatever um, rotation it was. So if it hit the ground and tipped over, then I, w I was essentially done. Like, there, there was no coming back from that. And I, I tried even, like, nudging it into, um, into the fence or into a tree or something to get it to, you know, tip back up. It didn't work. If it, if it dropped, landed on its side, and then I picked it back up, it was just on its side again until I put it back in my inventory, dropped it on the ground again, and then, you know, set it somewhere again, basically. Alright, now, is that because we're threshing too much per day? Or is that because last fall's harvest was terrible because the, um, the field wasn't properly sown? Yeah, because the, uh, the oats are the third one. So we've got a ton of it growing right now. I mean, to have it flag on day three of summer, I mean, that's damn near perfect, you know, sustainability. If it's going all year and flagging, you know, the evening before harvest, I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, but here's what I mean. I had to, like, walk over this way and then drop one. Yeah, and then see... You grab it up, there's no way to, like, like tip it upright, even when I was nudging it into things. You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't tip back upright. And then the RT to rotate, yeah, doesn't do anything. So there was, like, this... Oh, not there. There was, like, this little sweet spot that I was hitting. And it was pretty reliable about getting it to land in, a, in an okay fashion for me to be able to set them. There. I even tried leaning up against the wall, but they, they, they would still tip enough that when I went to go place them, that it wouldn't work out proper. Oh, yeah, see, these round ones especially. Round ones are a headache. And then I was finding issues with my depth perception. Like, I was trying to look at the shadow, but I wasn't I wasn't always certain about where I was, I was dropping it or placing it. All right, please stay up. No! Mm, man, how do people do this for their Reddit photos. Like, I've seen... No, not that one. We didn't want that. Like, I've seen incredible, just crazy photos on Reddit, on Steam, you know, people posting their screenshots and stuff. This? This is beyond tedious. I mean, don't get me wrong, the photos these people are posting are incredible. But how do you have that kind of Patience, man. All right, please stay. Nice. I'm gonna find a flat spot somewhere over here to start dropping some. Yeah, this side was giving me a lot better bounces. And stay. Nice. Full, oh, wonderful. Oh, two yellows on the same. Do I like that? Do I want that? Does it look dumb with two yellows? Actually, I hope I didn't put two purples next to each other, did I? No, okay. Well, I did technically put two whites, because Henbane is kind of on the white side. Uh, I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Like, like I said, when I first started this frickin' project here... Oh, yeah, purple and yellow. Definitely want the high contrast going. Uh, but, yeah, like I said when I first started this, I've never, ever decorated in this game. I had pretty much min-maxed, you know, what's the best way of production, what's the best way of sustainability, all that kind of stuff. You know, hence why I'm playing a, a hard mode playthrough here. You know, it was not about aesthetics, it was about goal-oriented. Alright. Let's see if I can really, really hit the target. Oh, it was there for a second. It was there. Oh, no, you can't just... Oh, hey, that actually leaned up against the wall and stayed for a second. This might work. All right, now it, it it looks like it's touching the basket. So if I release, it shouldn't move a whole lot, right? Moved a little bit, but not not bad. Okay, not bad. Ready? Let's see if we can get this one here. Oh come on! Why did you wobble like that? There was no reason for that wobble. I can drop you from six feet in the air. And you just land with a bounce and you're all fine and good. But I drop you from an inch and a half off of this little basket and you're like, Ugh. Wonderful. Yeah, nice. 
Um, I've got four more. Oh boy. There is no way in hell I'm going to get one on top of that. Oh, that's not going to fly. There's no way that's going to fly. Oh, nice catch, Sherman. Um, this one might work out okay, but that other one's going to be... That one's going to be completely borked. That's going to be a no-go. All right. Release. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, wait, there's already Henbane here. What? I was hoping to have everything, you know, kind of spread out a little bit. No, oh, come on, man. Oh, you were, you were there for a second, man. <laughs> Cut it out. Thank you. Finally. Now for my second trial. Oh, this is not going to stay. There's no way it's going to... No. No, it's going to lean... Uh, it's immediately going to lean right up against the fence. Assuming it even stays on top of the, uh, the basket. Um... Alright, so this is kind of what I've got for now. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely... <laughs> it's definitely the prettiest thing I've ever made in this game. Which is probably not saying much. But... I don't know. I also got to get out of here because there's there's so many lights going on in that one zone that it's, it's just getting out of control right now. And as I suspected, it took me just about the entire day literally playing with flowers. <laughs> um, I guess for right now, I might as well put these in here. Um, just until somebody comes along and says, Hey, Seven, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Or, hey, hold it this way and then push that button and you can actually get the rotation that you were looking for or something along those lines. I mean, honestly, with as amazing as the comments have been lately, I'm sure one of you guys is going to have something super cool for me to try for decoration. And you'll take pity on me for my complete and total lack of artistic talent. Well, it's apparently still just a little bit early for uh, for bedtime, so I guess let's make a little bit of dob. I'm not going to put it up. I'm just going to probably make some and then We'll see, uh, see what we're at. Alrighty, so we'll just uh, chuck these on the ground right next to everybody else. And I'll deal with that in the morning. Oh, apparently it's uh, it's still too early to go to bed. Maybe we can hang out with the wet. Why is my wife sitting with another... With Amerigo, even? This was the guy that you specifically told me to recruit. No, it wasn't. He was the guy that... Our, uh, our sick kid. So wait a minute. This guy was holding our kid's medicine hostage for fun conversation and you're gonna hang out with him like this really really huh huh lady you are lucky that the couch isn't gonna be invented for another 400 years because you'd be sleeping on it tonight but anyway our farm is rocking out our production is looking pretty good we don't have the tavern running we're just gonna need more people we need one more farmer. We need at least two more production people. Uh, we still need... Wait a minute. No, we don't. We're waiting on maternity leave, aren't we? I'm pretty sure that's what I had determined last season. Our retail is flying. Our farm is looking beautiful. We should hopefully never have another uh, planting screw up the way we did uh, last year, but everything should be okay after this. Thank you so much for joining me this summer and hope to see you in the fall. The seven. Good night, guys.